I don't know why I get so anxious every time I even think about filming this. Welcome back to my channel. Today is a completely different video than what you would typically see from me on my channel. Um, today is going to be a very, very personal video. I'm going to be talking to you about my experience with breast implant illness. I know that this is a subject that could be really controversial, but um, but I'm here to tell you my story and and to tell you why I'm so passionate about bringing awareness to breast implant illness. And this is exactly why I haven't filmed this video yet. I knew that it was gonna be really hard for me to get through but I didn't think I would start it off by crying. Good grief. Clearly this is a very, very personal thing, um, which is why it's very difficult for me to share and to talk about my experience. I really just wanna share my story to hopefully um, help someone out there. I know I've shared briefly little bits and pieces on social media. It's a lot easier for me to put my words in writing than it is for me to come on camera and be super vulnerable. Whenever you put yourself out there on social media, you just never know what you're going to get. So it's kind of scary to talk about something that's super, super personal like this. And then to some people, you might think, oh, what's the big deal? It's breast implants. It's not a big deal. But it is a big deal when it literally almost takes your life. That's why I'm here and I want to share my story with you guys, um, hopefully to help educate you. Um, if you're thinking about getting breast implants, um, if you have breast implants and you are going through some similar things to just, you know, just make you aware of what could be the culprit and, um, and yeah, so that's what I'm here to do today. I will probably be emotional throughout this video because it is a very emotional topic for me, but we're gonna just go ahead and jump right into this video. If you are not subscribed to my channel, I usually do um, hair and beauty related videos on my channel. If that is something you're into, then I would highly recommend you subscribing to my channel. And, um, and without further ado, let's go ahead and jump on into this video. Breast implant illness, what is it? Breast implant illness is something that um, is not recognized by most of the medical community yet. I say yet because I do believe that eventually it is going to be recognized by the medical community. What it is is basically there is a subset of women who go in and have breast implants put in um, that either immediately or over time develop symptoms, um, develop a lot of autoimmune issues, um, things that basically cause issues with their health and their health begins to decline. Most of these women have no idea that these issues are stemming from their implants because we are told when we go in to have implants that, um, that they're completely safe, there's no harm. Um, in getting them and uh, that you know the only risk that are involved are risk with surgery and you know that sort of thing. I'm here to tell you that breast implants are not safe. I do want to preface this by saying I am not judging anyone for wanting breast implants or wanting to alter the way they look. There's a reason why you know, many of us have gone through the surgery um, to, you know, boost our confidence, to feel better about ourselves, and I'll get into why I got my breast implants. I'm not here to judge anybody for their decision. I'm not here to um, try to tell you what to do with your own body. That is completely up to you. But I am here to share with you my story and how breast implant illness played a huge, huge factor in, um, the decline of my health for many years and basically basically robbed me basically robbed me of a normal life for many many years i believe wholeheartedly 100 percent 
with every fiber of my being that breast implants are not safe for anybody. I believe that every person will eventually have some sort of symptom stemming from their breast implants and most of those people will be told that it's not from their implants that it's stemming from this or that or um, from you know getting older or whatever I just I want to make you guys aware of what breast implants can really do to your body so yeah so breast implant illness is basically a subset of women who have implants um, placed in their body and their their body is rejecting these implants and your body begins to you know shut down for lack of words it's absolutely insane the things that women are going through and they have no idea that the health issues that they are dealing with are stemming from their implants uh, I feel like this video is gonna be all over the place because I am an emotional wreck why did I get breast implants the reason I got breast implants was <laughs> because like many many women out there after having multiple kids and breastfeeding um, and gaining weight and losing weight and gaining weight again losing weight after all of those changes with my body I was left with something that I didn't like when I looked in the mirror um, I didn't appreciate the changes <laughs> I had my first child when I was 20 I had my second child when I was 24 um, so I was very young when I started having children um, and I was very fit before after you know after those changes with pregnancy I, I felt like I was looking in the mirror at you know an 80 year old woman um, no offense to any 80 year old women out there because I know plenty of them that have you know amazing figures and all of that I just did not feel like what I was looking at fit my body and fit my you know the way I felt about myself so after my second child was born is when I decided um, that I was gonna go ahead and get breast implants I had thought about it for a little while and you know I kept talking myself out of it after a while I just knew that this is what I wanted and it's what was gonna make me feel better about myself and it wasn't because I wanted to show off my body or anything like that I just wanted to look in the mirror and feel like a fit 24 year old and that was a, a part of my body that I physically could not change no matter what I did no matter how much I worked out when I initially had them put in when I was 24 years old I had saline implants after my first surgery I immediately had issues um, one of my implants wouldn't settle so one of them was sitting really really high and the other one settled like it was supposed to eventually I ended up having to go back in a year later for a revision so imagine you know I just spent all of this money I saved up every single penny spent my hard-earned money to have you know breast implants put in and now a year later um, I'm going back in for a revision which I had to pay more money for and then from there I just I was never happy with my results I had rippling I just they felt they just didn't feel natural I did not like my results at all but in my mind I kept saying well it's better than what I had before so I tried to convince myself that I was happy with what I had so this was in 2004 I had I ended up having another baby in 2008 and after I had that baby um, and gained weight lost weight again all of that you know no matter whether you have implants or not gravity will still take effect over time I did see again changes in my body and my implants started to sag and again I was never happy with my implants in the first place I started looking into silicone implants I already was probably having some health symptoms at that point but never connected the dots never you know thought that my implants could make could be making me sick in 2009 I made the decision to have my implants switched out and changed to silicone implants that was another cost of surgery the money is just racking up here this is what I kept 
telling myself would make me feel confident again. One year of having that revision, my health took a turn for the worst. Um, I started having lots and lots and lots of sickness and illness and symptoms that couldn't be described. I would have joint pain and muscle pain. At one time I was seeing a endocrinologist, a gastroenterologist, my regular PCP, a neurologist. There was just so many doctors, so many doctors that I was seeing. Um, it was insane the amount of money I was spending on medical visits, on medical procedures, on prescription pills to take care of this symptom and that symptom and to, to get rid of, of the, the side effect from this pill. It was just like a never ending vicious cycle of sickness. I started having numbness in my hands and feet. I would get muscle pain so bad that I literally would feel like there was parts of my body that someone had a match lit to my skin. It would hurt so bad and be so painful. I started to get to where I couldn't breathe I couldn't take a deep breath and then I would have start feeling like I was going to have like a panic attack because I felt like I, I was, you know, just couldn't breathe. I could sit here and tell you all of the symptoms that I started to get throughout. It, it, we'd be here all day long and I know already this video is going to be forever long. I'll try to spare you some of the details but if you guys have questions about anything please leave me comments. Uh, because I will definitely be in the comments trying to, you know, answer all of your questions. I started having stomach pain that was completely unbearable. And for several years, I had been having some stomach issues, but it got to a point where it was completely unbearable. Um, I couldn't function. And so I started going to doctor after doctor after doctor. They sent me to a dietitian. I went to several different gastroenterologists. I had testing after testing after testing um, and finally was diagnosed with gastroparesis, which is basically where the intestines is partially or fully paralyzed and doesn't digest your food properly. This led to chronic reflux which led to my throat being completely covered in ulcers, which led to me getting put on medicine to try to heal those ulcers, which led to scar tissue buildup and me not being able to swallow because of the scar tissue, which led to me having my throat stretched. I had so many endoscopies, I lost count. The gastroparesis, That condition, that condition almost cost me my life. I got to a place where I couldn't even drink water without feeling like it wasn't going anywhere, it was just coming back up. And if you don't know what gastroparesis is, you can look it up um, and see what the symptoms are. But basically your food just doesn't digest, so you can eat, and it, the food doesn't go anywhere so you end up throwing it back up and then eventually your body becomes malnourished and basically it it's easier to not eat than it is to try to eat and deal with the effects of gastroparesis i don't even like to think back to how bad it really was but i got to a place where i couldn't even take care of my kids i would literally try to get through my work day, doubled over in pain, shooting, stabbing pains all day long in my stomach. I would get home and all I could do was just get in my bed and, and get in the fetal position and try not to move. All of my kids knew that I was very, very sick, but my oldest daughter would come in and she would you know, ask me if my stomach was hurting and she would say, it's okay, I'll take care of the girls. And this is when she was like 12, 13 years old. She would go and fix dinner for her little sisters because I couldn't get out the bed. But this happened day after day after day after day, year after year. I was sick like that for 
about six years, I'd say. Yeah, probably about six years, seven years. All the money that we had been spending on medical bills and treatments. And then me just feeling like I couldn't function. Every day I just would think everyone would be better off if I just would die. I felt just horrible that not only was I going through this, but I was having to put my entire family through this sickness. It was just re a really, really dark time. And I thank God every day, every single day, that I had my faith to lean into because when I would have those dark moments, I would quickly then pray, you know, God, please, please just take away these thoughts, take away this hurt, take away this pain, you know, please heal me. And there was just that inkling of hope that one day, one day I would find my healing and that my kids needed me. And so I, you know, I just clung to my faith and I know that my faith is what kept me alive. I had so many people praying for me every single day. I say all that just to explain to you how sick I was. And then I started losing tons of hair. I started having massive ovarian cysts. I ended up having to have surgery. They thought they were gonna have to remove my fallopian tube. Nobody could give me any answers as to why I kept getting sick. I wasn't the normal patient that, you know, had all these issues because I lived a healthy life. I didn't smoke, I didn't drink, I didn't do drugs, I worked out every day, I ate healthy, I drank water, like, I did everything right. But nobody, nobody could give me any answers as to why I continued to see a decline in my health. I ended up being diagnosed with polycystic ovarian syndrome, uh, which was the culprit for me losing tons of my hair, which if you've seen any of my hair videos, I have several about hair loss. Um, and I know many of you have been looking for an update and I do have an update coming in about a month, so stay tuned. But that was just another, you know, compounded health issue on top of all the other things that I was going through. Towards the end, before I found out about breast implant illness and, and put the puzzle pieces together and realized what was happening to my body, I got into a place where I couldn't even walk upstairs without blacking out. I would have to sit and gain my composure and then walk up the steps. I got to a place where my workouts would become 15 minutes I could get through 10 minutes before I felt 100% completely exhausted. I couldn't sleep at night. I started having night sweats, but my hands and feet stayed ice cold, like there was no circulation in my body. There is a long list of symptoms related to breast implant illness. I'm gonna leave a link in the description box so that you can click on that and see what those symptoms are. I had all but I think two on the list, um, plus additional ones that aren't even on that particular list. I was very, very sick and I covered it up really well and tried to make everybody think that I was fine and that I was happy and that I was healthy when inside I was literally dying. Those that were closest to me, my kids, my husband, my mom, my brother, um, some of my closest friends knew what I had been dealing with for so, so long. And I had a friend reach out to me one day. This was an answer to prayer. And I'm sorry, I do not have a pretty cry. <laughs> I am definitely like the Carrie Underwood song, you cannot cry pretty. A friend of mine reached out to me and just mentioned, she said, hey, um, I just wanted to reach out because I have a friend who just had her breast implants removed and I read about her story and she has a lot of the same symptoms that you had. Right out of the gate, I was like, my breast implants? What do my breast implants have to do with gastroparesis and ovarian cyst and reflux and um, circulation issues? It doesn't even make any sense, but it planted a seed and the sicker I got, that seed continued to be watered 
by the what ifs. What if? What, what is this? What if my implants could be causing this? I started to research breast implant illness and I was shocked. I, I, my eyes were opened. I immediately started connecting the dots and it all made sense. My body wanted that foreign object out so that it could heal. I had those implants put in and my body immediately began to reject it because it was a foreign object. My body basically started to attack itself and after so much time of your body trying to fight this foreign object, your body gets tired and eventually it's like, all right, I give up. So things start to shut down. Everything in your body starts to be affected. If this thing shuts down, then that part of your body is affected. And then if that part of your body is affected, then this part of your body is affected. So I started piecing together the pieces of the puzzle and um, I just started to do so much research to just get as much knowledge of breast implant illness as I could before I made the very, very hard decision to have explant surgery. The thought of me spending thousands and thousands more dollars for surgery to have them removed was just like, it was so, so difficult for me. I did a lot of praying. I was on my knees daily in prayer, um, just trying to get direction and guidance on this. I just, you know, kept saying, God, if it's, you know, if this is what I'm supposed to do, then just give me a sign. Help me to know that this is exactly what is gonna lead me to my path of healing. I had probably done my research for maybe eight months or so when a good, good friend of mine who I actually worked very closely with in a business that I was working, all of the sudden, I say all of the sudden, but I know this was absolutely 100% God. It was divine intervention. She posted one day on Facebook about having her implants removed. She was having her implants removed the next day when I read when I read her post. I had no idea, no idea that she was struggling with her health or breast implant illness or anything. And when I saw her post, it's it's like the floodgates opened and I knew without a shadow of a doubt that this was God saying here is your resource. I immediately reached out to her and, um, you know, just started asking her questions. I had already done my research, so I knew a lot about breast implant illness, but I didn't know anybody personally that had struggled with breast implant illness or that had gone through explanting procedure. So I was like a sponge. I wanted to know as much as I could. I wanted to get every bit of information that she had. I wanted to know her entire story. I just, I wanted to know everything so that I could make my own educated decision. She was a godsend. She gave me so much information, everything that I needed to know. She gave me all of her doctor's information and so on and so forth. It, she just like, she opened the floodgates to what this world was all about, what breast implant illness was all about. And she's actually the one that uh, turned me on to a group on Facebook um, that that is basically all about breast implant illness. I think, I wanna say there's like maybe 45,000 women that are in that group that either have had explants or that have implants waiting for explant or that have people that have contemplated getting implants but someone has told them about the group so that they could go read the stories of these women who have suffered. I was opened up to this world of people that finally got it. For 12 years, 12 years I had my implants. I felt so alone. I felt like nobody understood what I was going through health-wise. Never getting any answers and just constantly fighting this battle of, you know, trying to improve my health with absolutely no improvement, but I was opened up to this whole world of uh, basically the biggest support system that I could have ever asked for. I knew as soon as I joined that group, it was, I mean, so much confirmation that there was just no question in my mind that my healing would come from having 
these toxic bags taken out of my body and it needed to be done as soon as possible. I'm located in Virginia. Her doctor is in Jupiter, Florida. I booked surgery right, right out the gate, contacted her doctor. He is a very, very well-known doctor when it comes to explanting. It was very important to me to go to someone that believed in breast implant illness and would do everything possible to explant the proper way so that I could heal my body completely. It is important if you are having an explant surgery to make sure that you get a complete capsulectomy where they go in and they remove all of the scar tissue surrounding your implant plus the entire implant and have it all intact and remove all of that so that your body can heal. And all of those toxins that are being held in those capsules is not spilled out into your, the rest of your system. When I reached out to the doctor and his team, um, I was able to get in pretty, pretty quickly. So I ended up going to Aqua Plastic Surgery in Jupiter, Florida, and I booked with Dr. Rankin there, and he was phenomenal. The entire team there was phenomenal. I cannot say enough good things about my experience and if you guys want me to you know make an entire video about my experience with that team I would be happy to do that because I know this video is going to be forever long being that I was flying in from out of town I was so nervous I had never had surgery out of town before I had never flown after having surgery I just didn't know what to expect um, and they made me feel so so at ease they took such great care of me. I spent one week in Jupiter, Florida um, after my explant surgery. I ended up explanting on October 30th, 2017. As soon as I woke up after having surgery, immediately I could breathe again. Immediately. I had not been able to take a full deep breath since I, since I could remember. In the recovery room, I finally took that first deep breath without feeling like like I was suffocating. The days after surgery, I immediately started to see symptoms dissipate. It was such an incredible experience and I, I, I often say if I would not have been going through it myself, I wouldn't believe someone who would tell me this. But my body was healing itself from the second I woke up. That week, I ate more food that week than I probably had in the previous month. My stomach pains were immediately gone. From the second I woke up from surgery, I never had one stomach cramp, was never doubled over in pain. When I tell you I could not function, my stomach hurt so bad all day, every day. From the moment I woke up from surgery, the pain was gone. I was eating salads. I was eating things with fiber. I was eating vegetables, things that gastroparesis patients are supposed to stay far, far, far away from. I was able to eat those things with no pain whatsoever. It was a complete miracle. And it does take the body time to detox. And the longer you've had implants, the longer it t takes for your body to detox from all those toxins that have been in your body. So I knew that it wasn't gonna be an overnight process. It has been around eight and a half months since I had my surgery and I can tell you 100% that my body is healed. I'd say from 95% of the issues that I had before explanting. I feel like a completely new person. I feel like I've had a new lease on life. I feel like I'm I feel like I'm living again. Before, I felt like I was literally a corpse just existing in this world. There was no life in me. And now I feel like I've been given my life back. My kids have their mom back. My husband has his wife back. And I have my joy back. I am living proof that breast implant illness is absolutely 100% without a doubt real. Don't let anyone tell you that it's not. Don't let anyone tell you that the symptoms are in our head. 
Don't let anyone tell you that you're crazy for thinking that your implants could be making you sick because I'm here to tell you I almost died because of my breast implants and here I am eight and a half months later feeling more alive than I have felt since I was 20 years old before I ever got implants. I just don't, I don't even know how to convey the happiness that I feel being able to function like a normal human being, being able to go out to eat with friends and family and not feel like I can't eat because I'm gonna be sick. Just not being able to enjoy anything in life because you're always sick. I can breathe, I can, I, I'm, I don't have any numbness in my hands and feet anymore. My hands and feet stay warm like I've got blood running through my veins again. I haven't had an ounce of joint pain since they've been removed. Uh, my stomach pains are completely gone. My issues with polycystic ovarian syndrome, I'm working on those because these, these are things that have wreaked havoc on my system so it takes time. But just by the blood test that I've had, that is improving. The testosterone levels that were 130 have come down to 70. My body has shown all of the signs of healing. I can sleep again. I am off almost all of the medicines that I was on before. I think you get the idea. I think you get the gist. I know this video has been forever long and if you have made it to the end, congratulations. I love you for staying through this whole thing. I share all of this because I want you guys to be aware. I want you guys to be able to make an educated decision for yourself. If you are thinking about getting breast implants, I would highly recommend you joining the group on Facebook. I will leave it linked in the description box or do your research about breast implant illness before having surgery. And if you do have breast implants and you know, you aren't having symptoms, then that's fine. It doesn't affect everyone, but I do feel like over time breast implants will affect everyone at some point. Some people are just more susceptible to having adverse reactions to them. So it's different for everyone, but I want you guys to be aware so that you can be your own best advocate because if it wasn't for me taking control of my own health, if I left it in the hands of all of the doctors that I was seeing at that time, I would still be sick and depressed and feeling like I wanna die. I had to take my health into my own hands, I had to do my own research, and I had to make my, make my own decision to have these implants out to see if my body would heal. I knew that it would, and I am living proof that it absolutely was the culprit of my issues. I could not be happier. I have so much joy. I have so much gratitude towards my friend who went public with her story. That was my life raft that was thrown to me so that I could have that last piece of information that I needed, somebody personal that knew about this, that was going through something similar that could help me get through this process. Since I went public with my story, I've already helped so many women who are going through the same exact thing. I have many friends who explanted after me who have already gone through their healing and are feeling like a million bucks. I wish I would have known then what I know now because I would have never, ever, ever, I would have never had breast implants put in I don't even know where to end this. I feel like I've been talking forever and ever and ever and there's so much more that I would love to say about this. If you guys want a detailed video about explanting, what to expect, the recovery process, what I went through and all of that, I would be happy to make that video for you. I feel like I probably missed so much stuff in this video. If there's any other information that you are looking for, please leave your comments below. If you have friends, who have implants, who are sick, please share this video with them. Have friends that are thinking about getting implants, please show this video to them. The more people know, the better off they are and the more educated of a decision they can make. Yeah, if you know anybody, anybody that this video could possibly help, please share 
it. I promise you're gonna continue to hear about breast implant illness. You are going to start to hear this in the media more and more and more as women become more knowledgeable and women step forward and become public with their stories. And I am happy to be a part of that movement because I'm living proof that breast implants are not safe and that if you have them and you have a proper explant, you can heal your body and live again. I hope this video has been helpful. If it has, please make sure to give it a thumbs up. Let me know your thoughts. Thank you so much for watching this video. I'm sorry that it was very emotional. This is just, it, it's affected my life in such a huge way and I can't be anything but emotional. Um, both sad for what I went through and happy now that I'm on the other side. So I love you guys so, so much. Thank you for stopping by my channel and I will see you in my next video. Peace out.